WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday so far. I'm Roger Suzanne. Let's take a look at some of your top stories today. Governor Ned Lamont will announce three major tax cuts that will start in the beginning of 2024. About one million tax filers will benefit from this program, including many middle class families. There will also be an increase in the earned income tax credit for low income workers and current exemptions will expand certain pensions and annuity earnings for seniors in our state. And happening today in New Haven, folks with nowhere to go will now have a roof over their heads because of a new shelter. This program has been in the works for quite some time now, transforming the old days in on Fox and Boulevard into a homeless shelter. Now, aside from tangible resources, clients will also have access to employment and job training. Pretty cool. They'll also have health care and mental health services and other support networks. Right now, thousands of people are still waking up in the dark this morning after that nasty storm on Monday knocked down power lines. That situation, I can tell you, is improving, though. Right now, Eversource lists more than 4,000 total outages. That's a big drop from yesterday. Most of the outages are in the quiet corner of Connecticut. Just under 500 in Sterling and Killingly. Woodstock and Pomfret are also seeing outages right now in the hundreds. And several people right now are recovering after a four car crash that happened last night right off of Route 218 and Columbia Road in Windsor. We do know that two of the vehicles collided head on. Investigators, though, are still trying to figure out exactly what led up to all of those collisions. And listen to this. The town of Scotland may have lost a lot of money in a cyber attack. The board of selectmen there say the attack happened back in October and that an online transfer, which was supposed to go to a vendor, ended up getting diverted to cyber attackers. Right now, it's unclear how much money the town lost, but we are told town leaders hope to be able to recover some of that cash. And former President Donald Trump is no longer a 2024 presidential candidate in the state of Colorado, at least for now. This comes after an unprecedented move from the Colorado Supreme Court, which deemed Trump ineligible due to the insurrection on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Now, Trump's campaign has already issued a statement saying they will file an appeal. And hey, today is a big day for UConn basketball because both the men and women's team are playing on the road. The number five ranked Huskies will begin Big East play against Seton Hall. UConn, of course, coming off a monster win against Gonzaga on the West Coast. Tip-off tonight is at the Prudential Center in New Jersey at 7 o'clock. Meanwhile, the women's team is heading up to Canada for an exhibition game against Toronto Metropolitan University. Now, this game will be a homecoming for senior Aaliyah Edwards, who is from nearby Kingston, Ontario. The matchup is part of a really cool tradition at UConn where players from out of state get at least one homecoming game in their careers at UConn right near their hometown. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool, Scott? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, 7.03 and a half. Good morning, everybody. River flood mornings for the Housatonic, still Farmington, and the Connecticut River. Be careful. Stay away from these rivers and streams and tributaries. Uh, it's, uh, they're roaring with the amount of rain that we got on Monday. It's still uh, coming, uh, it's not coming down anymore, but the, you know, you got that runoff from the rivers and tributaries into the main bodies of water, and that creates some pretty uh, scary situations. So just stay away from the rivers and streams. All right, our first alert live radar scans. Whoa, look at our beautiful sunrise this morning. Mystic, beautiful. Uh, temperatures out there, 23, 26. Don't get me wrong. It feels like 14 and 16 and 17 and 18. I'm going to get to the wind chill values in just a moment. But in the meantime, the numbers are actually doing a little bit better than average. 24 is where we should be. That's the uh, typical overnight low, whereas 39 is the normal high. We are down. Yesterday we were down, I don't know if you remember, but we were down substantially from the day before when we had that 64 degree warmth at Bradley. Yesterday we were down 20 to 28 degrees cooler. This morning we're cooler than yesterday by another six, five to nine degrees, 10 degrees cooler in New Haven. Now there's that breeze sustained right now out of the north, anywhere from uh, seven to 15. This 15 
is going to make the temperatures feel oh so much colder. As a matter of fact, it feels like 19 in Groton. I know the numbers are in the 30s, but it feels like 19. 16 in Salisbury, 16 in Torrington, 16 in Waterbury, 19 in Meriden, Willimantic, Groton. You get the point. It's a little chilly out there. Willimantic and Putnam joining the 19 degree range. All right, so it is Wednesday, 38 to 46. Sunny skies, a chilly day. The river is still running high. Sunny skies expected all day long. Uh, and then Christmas weekend looks good. Sun is up at 714, sets at 422. <clears throat> Let's take you to Futurecast. It is tomorrow's weather today. Hour by hour depiction of not a lot going on. As a matter of fact, the only thing you see changing is the time stamp. And that's more of the same for tomorrow, more of the same for Friday. Here's what we're looking at. Sun glare representing a little bit of a problem. 30 degrees right now with the wind out of the north northwest at 7. Sun isn't up for another nine minutes, but it's already peaking up over the horizon. 32 degrees. This is one of the shortest days of the year. Winter arrives tomorrow at 1027 at night, and then we start to gain a little daylight each and every day. All right, so winter arrives 1027 tomorrow evening. Look at Old Saybrook. Isn't that stunning? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? And Middletown, good morning to you. Things look good there. Some numbers in from you. Our weather watchers, Jeff in Staffordville and Todd in Colebrook in the low 20s, a little bit below, right at where we should be. 27 in Bristol is a little bit better. 30s, 29s, and 27s in Westbrook, Mystic, and in Madison. So the day ahead is filled with sunshine. We want you to get out there and enjoy it. 36, uh, 38 to 46 is the spread. And then your seven day forecast includes no storms. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we start moderating those temperatures 44 and 46 degrees Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, 47. Roger, there are some indications that next week, Wednesdays and Thursday, we could be at 50 degrees. Oh, my goodness. You can get back on the golf course. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Scott. And thank you so much for tuning in to Channel 3 Eyewitness News. We so appreciate it. And remember, you can always get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app, so long as we take a beautiful live look at Mystic. Have a phenomenal day, everybody.